Hi, I'll be covering a module known as NGX Markdown. Recently, I wanted to add a Markdown editor and a Markdown renderer, but I didn't want to write a component from scratch. That's when I went looking around the web and I've discovered NGX Markdown. So far, its documentation is pretty simple. You install NGX Markdown, and then you can turn on additional components and additional features. Now, it was pretty simple. Here you see me importing Markdown module and initializing it with dot for root. You also see this up here because I did npm install. I import it. And then here in the HTML file, you see me using it. The reason I decided to make the screencast is because the, the line numbers directive, this line numbers directive, I found it a little bit tricky to make it work and configure it. So hopefully this will help out anybody else who's struggling with this. The documentation is pretty good. Uh, and uh, hopefully with this video, it'll just be an extra place to look for help. So here is my TypeScript component and a variable called markdown has some markdown inside. And it's a multi-line markdown. And this HTML segment is just saying, go get the string from markdown. That's going to be your data render this markdown data and by the way i want line numbers turned on so what you see right now is there are no line numbers but the data is nicely marked down you know code block looks different lists look like lists and block code look a little bit like block code and that's that's kind of the really long string i have it's a you know markdown string and it's rendered pretty nicely based on markdown syntax but i really want to turn on line numbers so getting to that what's required so first, in angular.json, the bare minimum we need is to bring in the theme uh, for prism OKA, IDIA, OKDIA, maybe, and prism line numbers. Just one or the other doesn't work, and I'll show you that. There's four pieces of code that we need. These are two lines, and the other two lines of code that we need go inside the app module.ts TypeScript. So in the TypeScript file, in the app.module TypeScript file, you need to bring prism in and prism line number JavaScript file in, and in Angular JSON, Okadia CSS and line number CSS. So first, let's see this in action. Now I have hot module replace running, or hot module reload running, but uh, it do it doesn't do the right thing uh, when I add things to Angular.json or package.json or app module so well maybe app module is fine but uh, it's safe to restart and show you that something has really changed because here we didn't see the change so here we go four lines were added these two css files to the angular.json and these two javascript imports to app module.ts and now we have line number highlighting syntax with syntax and if i wanted to turn on typescript I could add one more. I could take this one. Let's do that. I'm going to add components, prism typescript min.js. That will probably hot reload. Let's check it out. We're looking for syntax highlighting. There you go. So const is colored in blue now, and typescript is colored in green. So that does work. But that's an extra. Let's take that out. Now, let me prove to you that we need all of these four things. First, I'm going to take out the Okadia okay theme and watch what happens. I'm going to have to recompile and restart for this to see the full effect of taking that out. So now we have only three lines left, prism line numbers, prism import, and prism line number JS imports. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, the expected behavior right now is this black background would go away. And so let's see if that's what takes place. Yep, um, the nice black background is gone and the border, everything with it. So that's why we need that style file. Now we know why we need that. Let's try doing something funky like taking away the CSS file for line numbers and see what happens. Again, the hot module reload is happening, but that's not enough to show the changes. That's why I'm restarting and serving Angular again.
and this time the background and the border is there but the line numbers aren't there which makes sense because we removed the styles for line numbers so that's done now if we have the styles do we really need these javascript files javascript imports that's just that And we see that the Ocadia theme is gone and so are the line numbers. So just some cream or white colored text is there. So that's no good. So let's see, I'm going to put prism.js back or just prism.js slash prism back. Let's see what that does. So just showing that all of these four lines are required to turn on the line number combination successfully. And there you go. So now again, uh, just the Ocadia theme is back nice and alive and the space is there to put line numbers there but the line numbers aren't showing up and so now the JS for line numbers and now they should start showing up and this works with hot module reload that's good enough and there you go the line numbers are back so this looks more like the line number highlighting that's desired so again four lines of code absolutely essential angular.json two lines Ocadia theme and the line numbers sorry not the theme the style sheet Ocadia style sheet and the line number style sheet, both from Prism and then in app module, Prism JS Prism, Prism JS, Prism line numbers, JavaScript file. And one more thing, often on the web, I see this given out just as that in some code samples, and I don't believe that works. Let's try that out as well. Okay, so hot module reload says it works. Let's confirm it. I'm going to shut down and restart. That's how I'm trying to confirm it. I don't want a different behavior if somebody restarts their server from scratch. And it's going to wire up and it's reloading. And hey, that works. Okay, that's good to know. For myself as well and uh, but without it if i take it out completely that shouldn't work let's just confirm that one more time and this will reload hopefully yeah without it it's bad and actually let me do that one more time with prism js is it back? Is it working? Yes, it's working. Oh, no, but it's not good enough, apparently. So line numbers aren't showing up. That's, oh, there they are. Okay, just needed some time to go. Okay, so I take that back. Um, this and this are equally valid, apparently. Um, must have not been thinking right last time that I thought they weren't. So equally valid, I'll leave that out. That works. Okay, so four lines of code. Import prism JS, import prism line numbers .js, import Ocadia theme, and import line number .cs. <clears throat> now there's some extra helpful tips. I'll leave those here, and you can look at the video. These are some extra add-ins or imports and style sheets that I figured out for turning on some other features. All right, I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.